Are you thinking about organising your next mortgage yourself? You can, of course, but are you aware of all the changes in affordability criteria? And maybe how rate changes are affecting the mortgage products available? Have you got time to trawl through 90 plus lenders? You can use a comparison website, but that won't necessarily show you the exclusive rates available to specialist brokers or take your particular situation into account. So if you want to find out more, stay tuned as I talk to mortgage and protection advisor Kirsty Primer and get the top three reasons that you should work with a mortgage advisor to get the right advice. Thanks for being with us. Can a landlord organise getting a mortgage for themselves? Technically, yes, they can do. However, the market is changing quite dramatically at the moment. So what they could have possibly done even six months ago may not be possible now because criteria and affordability levels have changed so much. They would It would take a long time as a landlord to look over the 90 lenders that we have and to check their products and make sure that they're getting the best deal out there and then check with the criteria that it does fit as well. So mm -hmm. it's it's a very long, drawn out process if you wanted to do it yourself. Okay, I mean, because there's plenty of places you can go online and just sort of Absolutely. like... Absolutely. You know, money supermarket other yep. other comparison sites are available yeah but you can actually do stuff on top of that oh 100 percent. what i tend to find is any I, I speak to people all the time that have looked on money supermarket and why why wouldn't you you know you want to try and save as much money as possible but what those websites don't tell you is whether your situation fits with that mortgage it doesn't also tell you about any exclusive rates that we might have out there so generally we can get a better deal than what you could get by going there so what are the pitfalls then of doing it yourself so if you do it yourself it could be that you try to apply for a mortgage you don't fit with the criteria and that's a decline and if that happens multiple times it could affect your credit score which then could affect your ability to get another mortgage it's hours of your time if you're a busy person working full-time it might be you know that that lender then suddenly wants this document that document you need to get it certified by a certain bank or person your mortgage advisor will take care of all of that for you so it makes your life so much simpler, especially when you've got multiple properties, you know, to, to make it more streamlined, much more streamlined for okay. you. Okay. I mean, it, one of the things that people might think though is, oh, well, if I have a broker, I've got to pay them a fee. I'd rather not pay a fee if I don't have to. I can understand that. However, we generally, with a lot of the deals we have, I can show a customer how I can save them that fee over the course of the two years or five years. and and save more than what any fees would be. Right, okay. So it might seem that you're paying money yeah, up front, but, but it's actually a bigger saving longer term. Absolutely, absolutely. And if I can't do that, I'm very honest about it. But actually, you know, the fee does pay for getting the expert advice from us. It does pay for having the admin support afterwards. So we've got a dedicated administrator that will chase mortgage lenders, solicitors, insurers, everybody to make your life as simple as possible. So it isn't just the, the pre-mortgage application, it's the post-application where we support a lot. And I think it's probably fair to say that people, the first time they, they buy a property, a house, yeah. whatever, it's quite an intimidating process Absolutely. to go through. And so obviously you can kind of handhold them through yes. that. But yeah. once somebody's done it two or three times, they might well think to themselves, well, do you know what? I know what I'm doing now. I don't need yeah. somebody else to hold my hand. I can do it on my own. Yeah, and again, I can understand that for some people. However, it's generally that we can get better rates or we can find a lender that fits slightly better or works better for your scenario because we see this day in day out so it will save you money okay so i think we've gone through a lot of these points but let's just reiterate <laughs> them why in a, in a nutshell is it worth going through an advisor like yourself than just going it alone because for me i mean i i take advice on things like my car insurance and stuff like that one, it saves money. Two, it saves stress. Three, the anxiety levels are a lot lower by getting an expert to do it. It's simple, especially when we're all busy people. Kirsty, thank you very much. So if you were thinking about going it alone, maybe we've shown you that there is some real value in an advisor when it comes to securing your mortgage. Thanks again to uh, Kirsty for joining us. If you have any questions for the Mashroom Mortgages team, then you can book a call on the link in the description box.